This part deals with resizing and trimming of objects. To enable snap, click on the magnet icon on the toolbar or on the transport. This will fix the movement of objects or ranges based on the snap setting which is currently set to one bar. Now I'm selecting the object and placing the mouse cursor at the bottom right hand corner. You can see a small square which is called an object handle. When I place the mouse cursor over this handle it changes to a double headed arrow. Left click and drag the object handle to the left to resize the object to four bars in length. This can be done from either the left or right side of an audio object. Because these edits are non-destructive, you can always drag the object out again to its original length. An alternative method would be to position the play cursor at bar 5, then press T on the keyboard, which is the keyboard shortcut for split objects, then press delete. Now you have a 4 bar object again. Another method is to draw a range over a section of the object and then press Ctrl plus T. Anything outside of this range selection will be removed. This is also known as trim objects. You can find this command via the right click context menu along with many other object editing commands.